going on guys bearded gentleman here uh, quick video we are at see if it'll show up there the Penske Racing Museum this is in Scottsdale Arizona right off the 101 and Scottsdale Road had some time to kill this afternoon and was in this part of town and I've never been here so I figured uh, figured I bring uh, there's my car there's my car bring the old Hyundai over have an ounce or two of humility and uh, yeah holy cow this is crazy so this here this is uh, Danny Sullivan's spin and win car 1985 Indy this is Rick Mears 1984 And that is Rick's 1991 Indy winner. It's crazy. So 91 average uh, speed was 224. Two oh seven in eighty-four. Two ten in eighty-five. So we went up three miles an hour in one year between 84 and 85 and then they'd already they were up into the 220s by the time they got to 91 there's an IROC car IROC was so cool 12 identical cars literally had the same setups and everything so this one was driven by Mario Andretti Over here, we have, this is uh, Tom Sneva, 1977, and this was, this was the first car to go over 200. Four lap average is 198.8. Lap one, 200.4. Lap two, 200.5. First car over 200 at Indy. And then here's my boy Joseph Newgarden, 2017 IndyCar champion. Got his autograph at the Phoenix race. He won the Phoenix race. Cool dude. This is for my dad right here. Juan Pablo Montoya. This was so cool to see him win again. This is 2015. Indy 500 winner. 224.6. So almost the same speed as uh, the 91 car. Obviously the rules had changed a lot between 91 and 2015. And this here Lola, driven by Mark Donahue. He's a driver that I wish I knew a little bit more about. The stories I've heard about him is he was a phenomenal driver. He drove everything. NASCAR, sports cars, Formula One, Indy cars. He drove everything. He was one hell of a driver. This is also driven by Donahue. This was in 1974. The PC won the first ever uh, Penske chassis. Again, some serious speed here. This is uh, 2001 Reynard. Um, oh, 2000. Nazareth. So it's kind of got the short oval set up. Big wings. Big wings. And here's Helio's winner, 2009. Well, that 224.8. Almost the same speed as the 2015 car. This is the height of the IRL days, normally aspirated. 
over here we got a couple of pace cars. Pace cars are awarded to the winner of the Indy 500 each year. First Olds cut with convertible. Neat car. It's a newer Corvette there. Look at that car. Jeez. That's crazy. So here's an IRL normally aspirated. It's 2002. 3.5 V8. And then here's the 2.65. 91. This is the turbo car. Check out the... Uh, there's the turbocharger. Down in the intake manifold there. I can't believe the power these things put out. 720 horse at almost 11,000 RPM. Holy smokes. These things screamed. This is the 93 engine. Ammo. Emerson Fittipaldi. Hope for uh, a speedy recovery for uh, Pietro. I uh, just got word a little while ago he was in a really bad accident at Spa today. So, hope he gets better. I got to see him race at uh, Phoenix last month. That was pretty cool. Seems like a really cool kid. I we're into the NASCAR stuff. Logano. This is the Daytona 500 winner. 2015. Never been the biggest Logano fan, but it's still cool to see that car. And then uh, the 2008 winner. This is uh, Ryan Newman, 2008, the 50th anniversary Daytona 500 that was. I got a picture of uh, his trophy, all gold Harley J. Earl trophy, so that's pretty neat. Check out this monster. If you know anything about IndyCar racing, you know this engine. The Mercedes 500i 265e pushrod. This engine... Uh, let's just say it exploited a loophole and absolutely annihilated the field at Indy in 94. There's, uh, there's turbos up in there. Some reports saying that uh, down the straightaways, this thing was doing well north of 250 miles an hour down the straightaways at Indy. This had, thing had so much more power than everybody else. It was astonishing. And then they promptly closed the loophole, and Penske failed to qualify at Indy the next year. So that's a really neat piece of history right there. This is um, this is the engine they ran for the rest of the 94 season. This is the, the legal normal one. So as you see here, 825 horsepower in the one that they ran the rest of the season. And uh, over 1,000 for the Indy 500 engine. This engine was insane. Go back and watch some of the 94 stuff. That engine was, this thing was so brutally fast. It was, they humiliated the field with that engine. A lot of secrecy behind uh, the engineering behind that too. Really neat stories behind that. So there's that. Here's Brad Keselowski's 2012 Sprint Cup Championship car. Dodge. The 2012 championship winner. I went to the Phoenix race in the season. He won the championship, the fall Phoenix race. That's the infamous Jeff Gordon Clint Boyer race. I was there. And this is Brad also drove this. He won Indy on the uh, what was then the Nationwide Series. So, that's a cool, cool car. Very boxy front end. Pretty neat. 63 NASCAR Pontiac Catalina. Owned a NASCAR Riverside 250.
pretty neat old stock car there. So yeah. And then over here, back around to 85, 84, and 91. Danny Sullivan and a couple of Rick Mears cars. Really, really cool place. Highly recommend you come here. There's some neat stuff upstairs too. There's a whole bunch of trophies. Uh, including the Sprint Cup trophy. Um, Indy 500 trophy, I believe. There's some neat stuff up there. So definitely check it out. It's in North Scottsdale. Uh, right off the 101 in Scottsdale Road. So really, really cool stuff here. Definitely come by and check it out if you're ever in the area. I don't know. Oh, at 4.30. Only 170, 174,000. Implied warranty only. It's a 458. Yep, 458 Italia. Uh, 430. The FFs are weird. Interesting cars. 16M Scuderia F4 uh, 430. Well, I think this is the 488. I think. That's 458. Okay. Oh, here's my car. This is my dream car right here. If anybody wins the lottery and wants to fulfill a fulfill a dying boy's dream, 360 challenge challenge Stradale. I prefer the uh, I prefer the red one with the white the white and green stripes, but that's still freaking cool. I don't care who you are. Engine note on these things. Holy God. I think this is this is a 488. Survey says. I have a hard time telling the difference. Yeah, that's a 488. I have a hard time telling the difference between the 458s and 488s. Very similar in styling. Look at those brakes. Holy God. Jeez. Yeah. I don't know. I think, uh, think they'll work with me on, on the Hyundai for anything? Probably not. Yeah. Holy crap. Holy crap. These things are... Jeez. I have 49.9 for the Corvette. <laughs> Chevy's. What the size of the wing on this Viper? Ricer. Oh. I hear something that sounds exotic coming up behind me here. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful sound. I don't know, I was never a fan of the SLS. I mean, they're cool, but eh. NSX is pretty neat. Technology in those is, like, absurd. Yeah.